Hi, my name is Paul Browning. That's me there. And before I had kids, the years have not been kind. But I don't have an up-to-date picture. I just wanted to talk briefly about IP subnetting and the new course I've just created, just finished today actually, called IP subnetting zero to guru. So it's designed for people who don't know anything about subnetting or know a little bit and are a bit confused, which I'm sure around 80% of uh, people I've met who are studying for IT or already in IT are still a bit confused about subnetting or just can't do it very quickly. This is, um, it springs from a course I created uh, many years ago. It's had, what, 210,000 views nearly. And it had a website. This website no longer exists, actually. It's all on a new website, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So, yeah, it's 12 years old, this course. So I basically had to just redesign it from the ground up and add a new whole bunch of new stuff which as you know uh, IT is moving very quickly. Why should you bother learn subnetting? Well most people avoid it and I think they think it's hard and uh, the way most people teach it is hard actually. Unfortunately for you if you want to pass an IT exam you're going to need to know subnetting and around five questions out of 60 for these exams certainly are going to be around subnetting. So definitely the Cisco CCNA and the exams adaptive, remember. So if you start getting questions wrong, they ask you more of them. If you get them right, then they obviously the computer works out. You know what you're talking about and um, it'll move on. Five questions out of 60. If you work out the percentage, which I'm sorry I didn't in advance, so I'm not sure. This is the difference between passing and failing, knowing subnetting. So I kind of hope that um, gives you a strong case for learning. Now, some of the things you can do if you do know subnetting, if you're working on the help desk or as a network engineer, you're probably gonna have to fix subnetting problems. And things like this happen. Most of the um, IP addresses on a, com a commercial network, at least, are assigned by DHCP. At some point in your career, somebody will turn this off by ticking a little box because they've watched a YouTube video and they will add their own IP address. And the chances are that's in use by somebody else on the network or it's in the wrong network. Now you're going to have to troubleshoot this. You're going to have people watching you and you're probably going to have some angry bosses and customers watching or listening. So if you don't know subnetting, then you're going to really struggle to fix this kind of issue. Technical job interviews, almost any IT job, even if you're programming, doing security or wireless, part of your um, technical interview will be subnetting questions. I had to do exactly this. I had two senior engineers, actually, with a whiteboard, writing subnetting questions for one hour when I had a job interview for Cisco. It was pretty tough, but I'd, um, I'd taught myself subnetting, so um, this is the method I'm going to be teaching you. Uh, modern subnetting, you need to know a lot more than uh, we did when I first started, which is why the course has been created. Obviously, IPv6 now was kind of a tiny percentage, maybe 1% of uh, any exam back in 2006, uh, 2006. Now, I don't know, sort of 45 plus percent uh, consists of IPv6 because we're phasing out IPv4 slowly. And then the dual stack, you need to know about this, which is covered actually um, in the course briefly. It's running to uh, IP addressing systems. You need to know how to subnet your network. So if you've got a big network, you need to know how to chop this into smaller chunks. So you manage this tr chunk. Another engineer ma um, manages this one. Another engineer ma um, manages this one. And also you'll need to know how to advertise your routing protocols which I show you how to um, use IP addressing to advertise the correct in uh, networks. You can create network designs and addressing plans. There's actually an entire career as a network designer. I'm thinking the Cisco Certified Design Associate or Professional or Engineer. Uh, these are uh, network designers. You need to work out private IP addressing systems which are free to you to use and then how to get them to convert to routable addresses. This is used, uh, known as network address translation. You need to know how to configure pools of addresses on your DHCP server. 
So you could have uh, pool one goes to the HR team, pool two goes to the admin team. If you don't know subnet in, you're going to struggle to get all of this work in. And this is, I tell you now, this is a, your day to day stuff. It's not something you won't be doing often. You'll be doing it pretty much every day if you're working on a network. You need to know how to configure wildcard masks on routers and firewalls. I'll show you how to do that. So this is based on uh, a book I wrote a few years ago called Subnet in Secrets. This is actually going to be um, from tomorrow, no longer on sale. It's going to be IP subnetting zero to guru. But I just wanted to show you that it's actually been doing really well, this entire method on Amazon. There's 56 reviews, most of them five stars, a few four stars. So this has helped a lot of people. Uh, it used to be a video course as well on um, a, a different platform. So I'm going to show you how to uh, work out binary and hex numbers, work out IPv6 and IPv4 basics, address the classes and CIDR. Don't worry if it doesn't mean anything to you, I'm going to show you how to do it. How to design network addressing for your customers or your boss. Great wildcard masks. You'll need to know these for your writing protocols and for firewalls. And then how to answer exams super fast in the exam. I'll, I'll demonstrate videos of, of me showing you how to do it in under 30 seconds, which is the way you want to answer questions in exams or technical interviews. So put a bit of effort in. It doesn't take too long. The course is around four hours. Then I'll give you some extra time to do some exams and working out on any project. And then you want to spend around one month, uh, an hour, brushing up and just reviewing, just doing some practice questions. Most engineers don't bother and then they just look silly when it comes to interviews or when they have a face with a life problem. Uh, you also must learn IPv6. I'm going to show you all of the uh, basics. This is stuff every IT engineer should know. It's not an advanced course, but I'll show you the addressing basics and some of the stuff you need to know. Now, uh, I might put this video actually on YouTube, so I'll put the URL here. It's www how to network.com and the course will be under TCP IP. Look for IP subnetting 02 Hero and I'll see you on the inside.